but a PS4 Pro and a new Xbox and new Xbox dev kits are in dev's hands. So this says here, reputable data miner and freaking rockstar games entire test two has stated on the GTA forums that a new mid-gen upgrade, new mid-gen upgrade dev kits, presumably meaning the PS5 Pro and a new Xbox Series X are in the hands of developers. In response to another GTA form user, Test2 has said most AAA studios should have received dev kits of mid-life upgrades and should receive them by or should receive them by the start of a new year. Now we've heard about stuff like this. We saw um, it's actually down here. We saw this, the TCL thing where they said new Xbox Series X and S and PS5 Pros are coming in 2023, 2024. I think for most people, when we saw this, it was just TCL trying to sell their TVs, right? Trying to sell them like for the future, get, having people be excited for what their next product line is to be able to support these big, powerful next generation consoles. This was back in May. And now we're seeing this where there's a leaker saying that they, they actually have dev kits in hand for upgraded ps5s and, and xbox series x's they say here that it's understood that the new console exclusively reported by insider gaming will have almost the same hardware components as the original playstation 5 now the other thing we have heard about is playstation 5 releasing a, a new console but not having a disc drive and only having one SKU, and then having a detachable uh disc drive to it so you can still play all your games and then selling that for like an extra hundred dollars so it potentially could be this that they're thinking about that he's talking about. I don't, they would have the exact same hardware though, but they're apparently this one's going to have slight upgrades, which would can't make that one be counted out as the console that they're talking about here. It says here, however, due to sensitivity of the information sources, we're unable to give exact specifications on what could or is being upgraded for that console. So when he's planning to produce 30.5 million consoles, so they, they want to produce 30.5 million consoles in the fiscal year of 2023, which is crazy because 18.5 million um, of those are going to be the new one with the detachable hard drive. And I think, honestly, we know that they've gone with the smaller 6 nanometer chip. They can put more on a wafer. They can create, just be able to produce more consoles because of that. We saw that when they, with the new 2022 PS5s, I think Austin Evans, his teardown video, they finally discovered the reason why it's running with, it's pulling less power and running cooler is because they have that smaller six nanometer chip in there. And you take that, you're able to shrink everything that's within within the console. You're able to make it cheaper to produce. And then you're gonna remove the disc drive from production. You're only gonna have one SKU. Will they hit 30.5 million in production? I don't know, but I think it'll make it easier because of every all these small little changes that they have been making for the last three years, which would be like massive for PlayStation to be able to do that because literally that's the only way that people are playing in their ecosystem is through the PS5, right? Obviously on PC too now with their releases, but it's just not as prominent as with Xbox when every single game that they put out first party is coming to PC as well. So I think I could see with their strategy, what they're doing going forward, it, that could happen. But at the same time, it seems like from what they're doing, they're setting themselves up, they're getting ready for a slimmer version of the PS5, which I hope that is coming. I hope they focus less on a diskless PS5 with a detachable hard drive and more on a slim version of the PS5 if they're able to get it to run cooler with all of the um, changes that they have made. Because the PS5, I have it right here, right, right beside me. It's, it's gargantuan and it is ugly as hell. I don't care what anyone says <laughs> um they say here the new console will replace the current systems and likely be on the market for a similar price as the current digital edition okay that's cool with the detachable disc drive coming separately or in a bundle for this reason insider gaming believes that this new playstation 5 is just a standard playstation 5 console aimed at the 400 to 500 price point in addition, Insider Game Reported production numbers did not include any PlayStation 5 Pro consoles, which could indicate a release during the fiscal year 2024 or after. Coming back to test two claims, it's not uncommon for developers to get their hands on such hardware a couple of years before public release. And test two's claims could be accurate, but as of yet, we are unable to verify them with our own sources. So again, 
keep this with a grain of or take this with a grain of salt that's some sort of ps5 pro with some upgraded hardware inside that's going to make it a more powerful console is coming but there are apparently dev kits going around right now and they say here and new xbox dev kits are in dev devs hands and i don't know what that would mean i'm of the opinion that i don't know about you guys but i don't think we've come close to seeing or it still seems like pretty much we are in we haven't seen a real truly next gen insane looking game right like it still seems like we are we're like a half gen upgrade i guess you could say the one thing that the series consoles have done that does make actually feel like we are in a brand new well and the ps5 too console generation is the low times but the the series in particular is stuff like the quality of life features like quick resume um like all of that backwards compatibility stuff that they've added in that like the fps boost to some of these old games and um all of that stuff just the quality of life features just handling the console how much more enjoyable it is to not sit through two minutes of load times all of that stuff does feel like next gen but in terms of like graphically and the way some of these games look there are some beautiful looking games out there. don't get me wrong there are some absolutely gorgeous beautiful looking games but it still just feels like it's just like that slow progression from right now that we're going through and i feel like in terms of consoles we're gonna always be at that for a very long time it's never gonna be like that absolutely mind-blowing moment like I, I talked about earlier where it's like when i walked into to future shop which is no longer in canada and i saw fight night on the xbox 360 it was that was a mind-blowing moment when it, when it came to video games for me because it was like night and day from the og xbox to the 360 and we'll never see that again but like these consoles are still so much in their infancy. They've been two years to think that we're going to be getting a pro version already. Is it even needed? I don't even think it's needed, especially for the Xbox Series X. I don't think it's needed. What I think they could do is maybe release a disc disc, a digital Series X. That would probably not, that would probably be a, a relatively smart move. And I also kind of like the idea of having a detachable hard drive. I do like that. I know if PlayStation does that, I think that is a pretty good idea. And I hope Xbox does that as well, just for the Series S specifically. Because I have physical games. Like whenever I buy collector's editions of games, they're physical, right? For our, for the most part. Unless you're buying PlayStation collector's editions, which they give you a digital version, which is absolutely absurd. But anyways, um, I would love to play those those games on my Series S with a detachable with a hard drive or hard drive detachable disk drive so we'll see how this works out i think it's a smart move by playstation if they do that if they just scrap the the disk drive version and and sell and sell the detachable hard drive or disk drive uh, for it you know it'll just make it easier to produce and hey maybe they will hit that 30.5 million but we'll see they have to the thing with playstation is they have to hit that 30.5 million they have to hit that production number because they're screwed if they don't they don't have that ecosystem strategy that Xbox has. One of the most interesting things that I, I found with, with the pandemic and the chip shortage and all of the things that held production up in the world was that Xbox was sitting pretty from that because they're like, well, we're selling out every console that we have, but because we have such an eco ecosystem that can be accessed anywhere, we're not hurting from it nearly as much. PlayStation was definitely hurting from that.